Hey guys, Markiplier here, back with another episode of Crooked Man. Now, I've been trying to get this working for a while. It got to the point where I had to look up a walkthrough, and it seemed like it would have been obvious, but it actually was totally not. <laughs> I have to... Okay, this is actually quite complicated, because I never would have thought of this um, on my own. I have no idea how I would have made this leap to conclusion, because for some reason, I thought that all these bottles were empty when we made this, um, but when, in fact, they are actually... Yes, here's the monster again. Hi. I've been through this like ten times trying to figure this out. I was trying to record this episode. So, hi. Hello. I dropped you down a pit. Crap, I gotta do something. You, what you have to do is you have to smash him over the head with this bottle, which apparently is full of alcohol. And then you, uh, you use the lighter. I mean, he's covered in alcohol. He should be plenty flammable. Yeah! That, yeah, that. That, that totally. I apologize for looking up the walkthrough, but, uh... <laughs> I just gotta admit that this guy is just a stone-cold badass. He smashes him with a bottle of brandy and then lights him on fire. Who would think to do that to a monster that is currently chasing? That's absolutely badass. Anyway, it's been a very long day for me, and I've been yelling a lot today on some great shoots that I've been doing. Um, I was at the YouTube space all day. All day today. Did that say I need to look some for something to defend myself with? Okay. All right. So that's my next on my objective, and and it was just really really fun uh, to be able to do this because I had an entire crew: a director of photography, an audio guy, um, a grip. Um, uh, it it was just all, all sorts of really cool, interesting stuff, and the videos that we made are going to be amazing. Well, to me, they're they're rather silly, probably, but I I still think they're funny anyway. I've I, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna pretend like I didn't see that I, it told me to pick up the knife um, in the walkthrough, man. A fruit knife. This is a knife that I saw before and I wanted to take with me. Maybe I should take it just for self-defense. Now, um, it, it's been amazing being out here in LA, being surrounded, but in all honesty, right now I've been working for so long that I want nothing more than just to be back at home and uh, making videos for you guys again because, um, I mean, I just really love making videos for you guys and just entertaining you. Is that blood on the floor over there? Oh, it's leading me somewhere. But anyway, I, I sincerely just like uh, making videos for you guys. And, and being out here and doing creative stuff is really cool, but at the same time, um, it, it's it's a lot of extra work for stuff. And I want to put a lot of work into videos that I do, personally. Oh my god. I can't even walk through this blood. But blood! This wasn't here earlier. Anyway, all I'm trying to say is that I sincerely appreciate all you guys who watch me every day and... Uh, uh, keep up with me and and without you guys I wouldn't have the opportunity to come over here to LA and be able to do this sort of stuff So sincerely from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Anyway back to the game I've been blabbering about stuff that you probably don't care about so anyway there's blood here I need to is that going up? Oh, no, okay. It's going over here. I'm guessing I'm gonna have some sort of showdown with this monster I don't know how it's bleed. Oh, maybe that's not the monster's blood. Maybe that's sissy's blood. Okay, well, it seems to be pointing up in here. The door is unlocked. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's sissy on the bed over there, but I have a bad feeling about this. Did, uh, some monster that was completely on fire come and, uh, do something to you? Sissy, what are you doing here? Your arm's bleeding. So it was your blood. Were you hurt? Uh, yeah. My arm caught on something. It's not that big a deal. How about it caught on the claw of a monster? Come on! You have anemia? I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. And you're bleeding everywhere! I'm worried! I'm worried about you, sissy. Give me your hand, sissy. That's a silly name. All right. I know it's a real name, but... I have a handkerchief. I can at least try to wrap you up. Right, come here, sissy! Give me that bleeding arm. I guess this is better than nothing. Doesn't hurt? It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. Oh, they're romanticizing. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? Well, I saw this giant flaming fireball of death. It was interesting. It's nothing. I've just been so silly. Wandering around, falling in holes, cutting my arm, all to find some measly box. It's important. A memento from your boyfriend. Ah, he's my ex to be exact. Huh? Mm, he left me quite a while ago, but while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. That was when I lost the box. 
I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here brought back all the memories. Why did you break up? I've got a feeling, but I'm going to mention it later. I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when we broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Sorry, I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here for a while longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. A key to somewhere. Don't strain yourself, okay? Sissy. Well, I'm going. Alright, I have a theory. Because, um, obviously the notes they've been reading obviously is mentioning this girl because there was this guy that had a special place up in the mountains with the hotel. This is her. So she's obviously... What? Who's talking? Excuse me. Why am I always like, what? Like, what? You're always such a yes man. Just going with the flow. Don't you have a personality? I don't mean to. I mean, I think I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. Because I'm a dick. Oh, I'm a, I'm a bitch. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. It would be the same with anyone but me, right? That's why I can't trust you. <laughs> Look, please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm a pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. Th then what should I do? You don't trust me, is that it? It's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way, but it would just be an annoyance for us both to stay together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Well, that's pretty douchey. Well, wait, we can talk this out. Surely! Surely we can talk this out. Don't call me Shirley. Airplane joke, okay. Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that, timidly refusing to forget. Well, is that so? Well, aren't you just souls from a different era? The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wondered if Sissy felt that way too. What? Oh, I'm playing now again. I heard wind was whistling, rustling through the wind. Hmm, something strange is going on in this place. It doesn't seem right. I still can't walk through this blood. It's now a permanent obstacle. You know, it's been a while since I used this Blue Yeti microphone, and it, it, it's very strange to me um, how much better the microphone that I have now is compared to this. I mean, I'm always popping with this one. Anyway, I need to... I'm blabbering about shit you don't care about again. Key used for somewhere unknown, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go through these doors again. No, not for that one. It may have been... Um, for the door that was beside the door where I went into the owner's area and where I first encountered the monster. Might be here? Ah, there we go, okay. I had a theory about that one. Okay, so, I'm saving spastically because I don't know when the monster's gonna pop out again. Something's in the fountain. Oh, it's a box! It's Sissy's box! But this is gonna reveal something about Sissy. It's the one that... Oh, this is me fishing it out. It must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it away here or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. I'll get this to Sissy pronto. But it won't turn out that way. Because I know how these horror games turn out. Hello, Mr. Monster Man. How you doing? Okay. All right, which room? Oh, wait, the blood led to it. Sissy! Oh, no, huh? Did Sissy leave, but she's wounded because she's not really there. <coughs> okay, Sissy got yelled and is being attacked. Uh-oh, 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 uh -oh. what? Where'd the scream come from? Where'd the scream come from? Is that the piano? Oh my. Oh. Yeah, Sissy, there's a bit of a... <laughs> Hey, you bitch! You can't mess with her! I'm the strategy guide! Suck on that! Man, I am a badass! 
I am some sort of a boss. Whoa. Hi, friend. How you doing, old buddy? Damn it. Sissy, get out of the hotel. David, what are you? I said run, I'll take care of this. Cause, God damn, this guy is awesome. Ching! <laughs> hey, you bitch! I don't know what the hell you are. Don't you lay a finger on Sissy. Dun 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 dun. Oh, it's gonna make me save because obviously this is gonna be a fight to the death. Oh, oh, I have a health bar. How do I? Oh, Z? Okay. Get ready to be. Oh, wait. I can't let him get that close. I'm... Yeah. 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 Oh, shnikes. Okay. Diddly. I love the piano music they got going on here. Like, bring it on. Bring it on. Oh, I thought I got him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. He gets a little burst of speed. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm one hit from death. From the old timey ragtime. Ah, oh, game over. Let's try not to start a new game this time. How about that game? Oh, really, crooked man? Now I know how to beat you. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but so I move so quick, like I, I accidentally run into him. Okay. Ah, does he have a health bar? I don't know. Ah, ooh. Wait, that. Oh, come on. I actually did a. Come on, don't be fucking this one up, me. I'm talking- Oh, come on! I, like, run one more space than I want to run. It's really annoying. Ah, I'm gonna die. Don't know how much health he takes. This is the silliest battle I've ever seen in my life. Ah! Oh. Did I get him? Did I get him? Oh, I thought I didn't get him. Oh, I got him. David. Oh, you boss, you manly man, you mountain of muscle. Let me make love to you right here. Pant, pant. David, are you okay? Yeah, I don't think it'll chase us anymore, baby. Never mind me. Are you okay, baby? Baby! I'm fine, I'm not hurt, but... Oh, sissy? What's wrong? Are you sick? Why? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did a monster attack me? Attack you? Attack you? What about me? I just didn't want to forget him. I didn't want to- I just want to have my memory of him. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can I? Can I not even love him? No, I hate it. Somebody! Somebody help! Uh, who are you talking to? I'm right here, sissy, baby. Whoa, what was that? What? What? Why do I have a choice here? Wait, what? What's wrong with being a whip? Huh? Huh, baby? What's wrong with being a whip? What is wrong with being a whip? I'm, I'm curious, but I haven't saved in a while. I mean, it's easy enough to beat the boss again. Which one do I pick? Hey, what's wrong with being a whip? What's wrong with being a wimp? Little sissy? You little sissy! You little sissy! You may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him, but is that such a bad thing? David, I was dumped a few months ago, too. I'm sure we were going to get married. You, too? I was dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance, and especially in bed. I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married, and it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've come to think, maybe it's not bad to think of me keep thinking of the same person. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful, very creepy thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I've decided I wouldn't give up either, and it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you, David. No, I mean, David. This is your treasure, right? It's quite the box. To it's be, it's be ashamed to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you love will understand, and I know I'll always support you. Thank you, David. I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Hey, David. Uh, why did the music drop out? Did the box come with a key? A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs a key to open, so, though I didn't lock it. Huh? 
What? Wait, hold on. I have a key! I got a brass key! Hey! What do you know? Yes, that's the one. Where did you find it? How do you know it's the right key? I picked it up around here. Or did you? A key from my house opened Sissy's box. Is a former tenant involved with the box? Or is Sissy's boyfriend? I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it and unlock what horribly evil it waits. Oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches the notebook pages, which means he... I don't get it. But I guess the guy you're looking for to put this paper in here seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going there, David? Yeah. He wasn't here. So I'll check there next. Okay. Be careful. Dun dun da. I'll escort you home, sissy. It's dark out after all. I'll be all right. Thanks so, David. Well, one last goodbye kiss. Oh, no. Hey! I was that, that startled me for a second. I thought that was going to be something else. I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. Okay. That that surprised me. <laughs> but she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Interesting. Lingering scent of dreams. Is this where he is? I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I see him, I'll go anywhere. Mm. Mm. Scene one over. Good job, everybody. Oh, man. I'm really liking this story. I mean... Wonky Mechanics aside, it's still a really interesting story. I'm, I'm very curious as to what's going on. I'm going to save in uh, Data 2 because there was a choice made. I don't know what the other one led to. Um, maybe, maybe I'm going down a completely different game path. I have no idea. So, anyway. That'll... Oh. Hold your horses, everybody. Put your pants back on. Zip up your fly. Put the gimp away. Let's go. Oh. Well, this looks sinister. Man, this place was far. That took almost all day. So this is a place. Looks like this school was abandoned. No one around. Though I guess they'd be inside anyway. Oh, really? Inside an abandoned school? Let's take a look. <laughs> all right. So, whoops. Eh, Day three, whatever. All right. So that's all the time I got for now. If you know what happened that I missed, maybe you can put a comment in the comment section below and let me know. But anyway... Sincerely, guys, uh, now that I have time to talk to you guys, if you've been making it this far, uh, I, I really am grateful for you guys uh, watching my videos and uh, listening to me every day. And, uh, you know, traveling out like this, it, it's, it, it wears down on me a lot because I've been traveling, like, for the past few months, I've been traveling nonstop. And I haven't been able to just, like, really dedicate. I mean, Outlast and Amnesia, I splint, sprinted through those three videos a day just because I didn't want to be recording those on the road. Um, but sincerely, I, I'm really glad that I can do this and, and come out here and be creative. Because some of these videos that we're making uh, while we're here are, like, some of the things that I originally wanted to do on YouTube. And, and you know, I really get a chance to uh, be me and uh, be myself. And you can skip this if you if you don't want to hear me rambling. Just skip to the next video if it's already up. But um, sincerely, guys... I, I, I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate uh, your your viewership and, and your dedication to the community that we've been building and, and the efforts that we do for charity and, and stuff like that. And I've got a lot of big plans in the future, and I've got a lot of big goals um, because, I mean, we're going to reach like a million in, in two months here, and, and that, that's pretty insane, and I, I don't even know what to think of. But sincerely, thank you guys so much for watching, and, you know, I, I just felt like I don't say that enough, so. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the annotation for more videos that I've done. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!